Hey guys, this video is about how to upgrade the memory on your Acer Aspire 1 D255E. Now this netbook has a 1.66 gigahertz processor. It's the Intel Atom with a 512 kilobyte of cache. Now it also uh, has one gigabyte of RAM which if you're me and like to have multiple browser windows open or maybe run an application like Winamp or Windows Media Player along with your browser and have sluggish performance, it's not going to work too good with one gigabyte with Windows 7 Starter. So basically, um, as you can see here, it has one gig. This is the factory installed amount. Now Acer tells you that this is the maximum. It's not upgradable. Uh, we all know that is not true, uh, at least on this particular model. So the process to upgrade is very simple. You just snap that out, snap the battery out for precaution there, set that aside, um, flip it back over. Now, this part is a little tricky, I will give it that. So behind the F8 key, there is, now I'm going to, well, my bad, I, I should explain this. So I'm taking my fingers, pressing on the back of it uh, to relieve the pressure. Now behind the F8 key is a clip. Behind the uh, F4, F5 key there's a clip, and behind the F12 key there's a clip. Now I'm going to take a card, any card will work. You just kind of run along the side here and release everything. Once these clips are released, you grab it on the right side while pressing on the back release that side right there. So once that side is released you kind of go over and it's going to take some force but you release that side of the keyboard like that. Next you need to grab your Phillips screwdriver which I guess I have right here. This is just your uh, standard set from Harbor Freight, this was like three dollars for this whole set. It has everything you need for working on this. Uh, so you just remove four screws. Here's one, here's two, three, and four. Once some screws are removed, <clears throat> push it down like that. Take your uh, take a round bit of some kind. Push through the hole right here. Uh, make sure you can see that. Push through right here with the round object, and that releases the bottom cover. So we fold this down. Notice I did not remove the keyboard. Remove the lid, or not the lid, the bottom piece. Set it aside. Pull out your module, like that, set it aside. Here's the new module. Let's snap that in there. Be careful with this, this is lead-free memory, and with the unleaded memory, it is very susceptible. Uh, it's very fragile since they changed the soldering process on these dims. So you just kind of snap that back together like, uh, like it's a Lego set or something. Flip back over, put your screws back in, just like that. Notice again, I did not remove the keyboard, you kind of work around it because it is a pain to put that connection right here back on. So to put the keyboard back in, you line it up like that. Put that hard corner in first near the escape key. Put the delete key corner back in. Just kind of snap it back. Close the netbook. And now to put the battery back in, you just slide her back in there. And let's see what it says. And 
let's go to your screen. There is your 2048 of memory. As you can see there, it works just fine. Um, there are some comments on the internet of this not working. Now there are a number of Acer netbooks out there. This one um, is the D255E 13... Six or thirteen thousand six thirty nine, so one three six three nine D two five five E. Now, this is one I got from Target on clearance. Um, it came with one gig standard. I've upgraded to two, no problem. With this Kingston module, it's a KVR thirteen thirty three D three S nine forward slash two G E T R from Amazon. Um, it was around twenty dollars and our performance index on windows has increased from about 4.4 uh, to 4.6 which is not much but whereas our uh, memory utilization before was around uh, two gig well now hold on our memory our memory utilization was around fifty percent uh, which is not so great uh, and now with this two gigabyte module, we're down to about 25% or 30% utilization. So, and it actually boots up a little bit quicker as well. Here it is booting Windows. Now this is with all the bloatware installed, all that junk that it comes with. Um, you know, I'm actually going to add a solid state drive to this netbook soon and have a video on that one. But, uh, yeah, it's not the quickest booting up to Windows. And there you go. There's our, uh, there's our desktop. There is our, it says it's at 31% right now. That uh, CPU, or the CPU utilization is actually maxed out. It's still loading startup items. But our memory utilization is at 31%. Significantly better than the 50% it was before, and for $20, you really can't go wrong. So thanks for watching, and oh, and good luck to you.